Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. My brothers and sisters, I welcome you to celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. Please join with us for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. And Mass intention today is we pray for Mother Day's remembrances. And now join with me for the opening hymn, Sing to the Mountain. Say to the mountains, say to the sea, raise your voice and lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you. Acts of the Apostles. 
As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. For as we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from, from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord in the heart. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, Lord, the mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, Lord let the words of the Lord have his place of trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, Lord let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are aligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that will be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because it neither sees nor knows him. 
but you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you in a little while. The world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him. This is the gospel of the Lord. The praise to the Lord of Jesus Christ. We can see 
Jesus Christ as the Father. At the past, at home, before leaving for something else, not stay in the house, not stay with the family. What he prepared, he gave a talk to his beloved one in the house, so that the main thing he mentioned is love one another, so that we realize that God loves us very much. And he care, he prepare for us when we need. We don't live with uh, physical, with his desire. And he prepare everything. I would like to share with you that if for my experience and maybe through your experience too, in any in any situation, position of life, even in suffering, you will receive. The care of God. You will receive the care of God. I tell you the story from the Magnificat about the prisoners, Vietnamese prisoners, in the, in the prison for many years. But in there, he used, he used the chain, the chain tied up. And to make the rosary, to make the rosary again. Okay. And uh, I would like to tell you that this is the first. We, and now, for me, my brothers and sisters, I am not a biologist. I don't have much knowledge of biology. I am not too sure that I will be attacked by virus in the future. However, I know some basic way to protect myself from the attack of virus in general and coronavirus in this time. By the news, we know that most of the time virus attack the aged people. From 65 and up, easy, especially in those people of extended care, and also to the sick and unhealthy people. We also know that virus pandemic comes from the person we contact. It is why we are encouraged to limit contact or not to be in the place with many people. With this basic knowledge, I have physical strength and also spiritual strength. Just having necessary contact, just going to marketplace when I really need it, especially doing physical exercise, talk, taking a walk for five miles every day. This is called physical strength. So that I learn from God as many we, we are prepared to everything in our life. I also have a spirit strength. Everyone needs to have a spiritual life. I am talking about faith, prayer, Bible readings, sacrament receive. In the dimension of religion or spirituality, we also have some kinds of virus too. Such as temptation of us. We can see this in a kind of vice. Or material ambitions. Or selfish tendency. Or laziness ten uh, nature. We need very much a self control and self discipline in order to prevent the attack of vice. In the mention of spirituality. We have plenty of spiritual methods, or we can say vaccine, to stop the pandemic virus. Every morning I spend time to do the prayer, to read the Bible, to listen to the Bible and to meditation from the website of usccb.org. I watch TV 
with AWGN channel. What does a self control and self discipline mean? And what we have to have self control or look for an attack to us? This is also called temptation. Yes, we are tempted to do what rather than do good. Yes, we are tempted to be selfish rather than generosity. I am talking about sacrifice. Sacrifice means that letting what we like by human nature go and for a spiritual benefit. We need sacrifice very much in our daily life, my brothers and sisters. Sacrifice makes us such in love. I brought many students from Vietnam to study in Canada. Majority is very successful, but some are not. Reasons, they always have a cell phone with them. They play games and do all kinds of things with their phones even when they were eating. They cannot get rid of the phone and games. They don't have a time to do home to study and they fail in study. They lack of sacrifice. Physical and spiritual strength need self-control and self-discipline. They are also called sacrifices in life. This is a call physical and strength. Physical and spiritual strength. I would like to share with you according to the teaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ to help us to prepare for us to live in the in the in uh, in the world. And you see many temptations, many virus, okay, try to attack so that we have to make our body and our spiritual spirituality strength enough to do to prevent the attack of virus in the way I would like to share with you and God bless us and God bless you and we continue to the mass and now we do the Lord, hear our prayer. Love is God. 
when Christ of us all has been sacrificed by the operation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commanding himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice, therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, it's all in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and the earth for your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed Jesus who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy of Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this day we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them, like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed, an angel really into to his passion. He took bread and given thanks, broken and gave to his disciples, saying, Thank this, all of you and it all, for this is my body, which will, will be given now for you. In a similar way, some words, he took the church and was forgiven thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Have this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood and the blood of the new and eternal God, which will be part of for good for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mysteries of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life, the challenge of salvation. Give the thanks that you have, and as worthy to be your present and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into what by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you just spread to our Lord and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope and Joseph of Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray, especially pray for the days of remembrances. That with the blessed words of Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph of Paul, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be queer to be no life. We may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our Lord, and the Lord, you all forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for by the Bible teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our ways, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all his face, as we await in the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, the Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your Paul, so peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the face of the Lord be with you always. Let the suffer each other, the sign of peace. Peace to the Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Before the Lamb of God, before He will take away the sin of the world. Bless our those of God to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have wanted to say it to my will, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. May the body of the blood of Christ bring me to heaven. Communion hymn, prayers of St. Francis. Amen. Yeah. 
prayer to trust in divine mercy. Most merciful Jesus, I join to you in my need. You are worthy of my complete trust. You are faithful in all things. When my life is filled with confusion, give me clarity and faith. When I am tempted to despair, fill my soul with hope. Most merciful Jesus, I trust you in all things. I trust you in all things. I trust you when all feels lost. Jesus, I trust you more than I trust myself. Most merciful Jesus, you are all knowing. Nothing is beyond your sight. You are all knowing. Nothing in my life is beyond your concern. You are all powerful. Nothing is beyond your grace. Most merciful Jesus, I trust you. I trust in you, I trust in you. May I trust you always in all things. May I daily surrender to your divine mercy. Most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, pray for us at the church in you in our need. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, we restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this past sacrament and pour into our heart the strength of this same food. To cry, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us pray for one another and I wish you a wonderful Sunday. Thank you, Father. And now today that we pray to Our Lady of Guadalupe, Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, we love the angels, Father of your presence. We write to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son at the end of the wedding in here. Pray for us, loving Mother, and again for our nation and the world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the price of those who are unable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. It is our practical 